Hello there, today I'm doing a tutorial on part one on how to mod uh, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I'm going to show you how to do it. I've had some people ask me like, how do I mod Wind Waker? I need you to help me with this one thing. Yeah, so I thought I'd make a tutorial for all of you guys wondering how to do it and wanting to create stuff in Wind Waker. So, what we are going to need to do first go to Dolphin Emulator. If you don't have the directory set, just double click it to your ISO, wherever your ISO is sold, select the folder. Okay, now we are going to right click properties, arrow, 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 file system, right click extract entire disk. We are going to extract it to wherever folder you'd like. I have a set folder just for modding Wind Waker here. So I'm just gonna just call your folder anything. I'm just gonna go root because this will be the root of it. Extract it here. Okay, now it's extracting it. Okay game is now in the folder so I'm just it's I'd like, it's a good idea to have a backup in case you mess something up you can just copy and paste something a, f a folder from it just into here to start over so let's call it root backup sounds good okay so now we are going to be downloading Winditer which is the primary tool for modding Wind Waker. So, just go to the website in the description and just go ahead, click on the latest download, and there we go. So it's finished downloading. Just go down to here. Just gonna move it to the Wind Waker modding. You find out what to do next, extract it. Just wait. Okay. So it's done extracting. Real quick before we look in it, I'm going to show you what all of the folders are for. Sis folder is for all the things that make it run, like main.dol is like the boot button, basically files here, we have this is where all the stuff is audio res here is where all of the sound files and music is stored um, don't really, I think this is for the ending cutscene and the starting cutscene maybe and I don't really know what this stuff is for, just don't pay attention to this for now. Okay, um, so the main thing we'll be focusing on, apart from audio res, is the only two things, is the audio res folder and the stage folder. And the stage folder, you see, is where all of the areas are stored. So, um, what we are going to need to do is, um, it, you don't know what these folders mean. It's just like, oh, what is, ah, oh my kiss. So, there's a website here, I'll put the link to it in the description, and you can, and it will translate and tell you what all the thing is, like, because if you don't know what warped means, you know, it's the warp maze now, or, and also, yeah, with okay, so if we were to go inside of one, the room zero dot arc is where all is just where the main area is stored, and the stage dot arc is like the skybox and clouds and stuff. So, and I just thought I'd mention real quick in the C folder, this this has all the rooms in the C, all the rooms are different islands. So. Here it also shows the different sea islands, like room 11 would be Windfall Island. So now that that's done, let us head to Windeter. It 
this is the main modding tool here. Okay, we are now in. So, first thing you're going to want to do is head to Tools, Options, and set your game root. If you don't set the game root, all of the, like, objects that you place down that aren't the map will just appear as squares. So, go to Roots, click on the root, and select the folder. And then here for Dolphin, click on Dolphin. And this is, with Dolphin you can go to your Dolphin X64 folder and select it. And now I'd recommend doing Able Dolphin Debug Mode. And if you want to display free memory during play tests, you, it will show it there in the corner, but you need to replace the main.dol to get rid of it. It's good to have a backup main.dol because it will every time you boot it after a playtest, it will do the same thing it would like you were starting a playtest. So when you want to like play it normally, just replace it with a older main.dol. So we can go to file and open a room. So so go to your root and go to files or as stage. So, and then you look at the thing, the map select thing, to see which stage you want to start. So for now, I'm just going to go to, I'll go to one of the islands, I'll go to C. And, like we said earlier, room 11 is Windfall. So, we'll just need to wait for it to start. It takes quite a, it takes a thick minute to start. <laughs> It'll even do not responding, but it's no, it always does that, or almost always, so you just need to wait. It's completely normal for it to do that, so I'm trying to say. So over here, you can see the island in the distance. So right here is the object list, where you can view all the objects. Well, you'll see them there, but this is like a whatever to show it. So if you go to player spawn points and right click on link then you will teleport to link so now i'll show you the controls to move around to move the camera on you just right click and drag the camera and just drag your mouse around and w moves forward s back a left t right and i think there's one oh yeah ease up q is down so, now that that's ready, you can see all of the different, like, people and places and, what places and, like, all the objects that you can just place around that isn't part of the 3D model. So, I'll show you now what all the different options here for. We're not going to mess around with any of them yet, but I'll just show you. So right now we're in the actor editor. These are actors, all of these objects, and the collision editor is where you set the different types of collision. And the event editor is where you edit events. I've never really messed with this and I don't really know how to use it, so I don't know if I'll be showing off that anytime soon. So a file we can save, save as, so you save basically just copy and paste it somewhere else, like you would think, and import, you can import visual, mesh, collision, mesh, export. So in case you don't know what you probably do, collision, the visual mesh is everything you see. The collision mesh is everything that you can touch. Like what determines what is solid in the map. So you can also Oh yeah, just the basic stuff, undo, redo, select. With, uh, you can create actor, which is all the things. Player spawn, ship spawn, treasure chest, and exit info. Exit info is like, the, the, the what takes you from one map to another. See, so look, it's set as the exit. It will exit you from this map to a different map. We also have playtest, which we'll get to in a second. Um, this is how you change the background music, which is very... Uh, song input editor is where you change the inputs required 
to trigger a Wind Waker song. Text editor, change the text that the people will say, an island importer, import an island. Um, yeah, so, if we, in the playtest inventory settings, you can change various things about the playtest, it will just, it'll just, like, the thing is, when you turn off Wind Editor, it will just reset, so, you'll have to do this every time if you want to, I just recommend having your save file have all this stuff already, stuff that you're gonna want to have already, so, I guess it's worth noting that it's recommended to do to use Golfin 5.0 for the playtest. Also, I'm pretty sure it needs to be a USA ISO for playtests, or it will just not work at all. So, so to do a playtest, we'll go back to the actor editor and just click on whatever link you want to spawn at. So I'll just spawn at this one here so just click on him and then go up to playtest and start playtest or control P. Another strange thing about playtests is um, with playtests it um it'll sometimes just not work especially when doing custom music you'll try a bunch of times and it'll just not start it does only sometimes, especially with custom music, so you just wait for it to start up. Okay. And now here we are. For some reason, silly me forgot to... Um... <laughs> map the controller for this account I'm using for tutorials, but... You can see it works, I don't need to... So, you might notice it takes... Second to start up for playtests and if you don't want to wait it's quite simple you can go to the hotkey settings and set a button to make it so it will disable the speed limit so you can just hold that button down and then it will zoom it will do the the um, playtest it'll start the playtest way faster so that is it for part one of the tutorial I hope this will be helpful I'll do another part in the future I don't know when, at some point, maybe, might be, probably be like a week or two, we'll see. So, and that has been it. So, I hope this was, yeah, helpful, so. I'm excited to see what you all might create. So that was, that, that's it for the first episode.